this video contains flashing images. I'm going to show you how to set up this light flicker effect inside of After Effects with customizable controls without using any plugins or even keyframes. But first, let's run the new branding. Before I show you how to set this up, I've made this effect into a drag and drop preset called NOS Light Flicker, where you can quickly add and adjust your light flicker. This version is a bit more advanced as you can start to control the red, green and blue channels as well, giving you more stylized effects like these. This is available in the Native or Nate store, where you can also find some other After Effects freebies. If you've not seen our free text animator, then I'd recommend taking a look at that. You'll find the link to the store in the description, but for now, let's get into After Effects. So I have this image here that I got from Unsplash that I'm going to use to demonstrate the effect. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and I'll rename that to Flicker. I'll then add an exposure effect to that by going to Effect, Color Correction, Exposure. And on top of that, we'll go to Effect, Expression Controls, and we'll add a slider control, and we'll duplicate that twice. The first one, we'll rename it to Brightest Value. The second we'll call darkest value and the third we'll call flicker speed. From here we're going to set up an expression that will allow the exposure effect to randomly change between the brightest and the darkest values. So normally you could just come up to the exposure here and add a wiggle expression. So if we try wiggle 5 comma 10, this will give us a good flicker effect but we'll end up with random spikes where it goes a little bit too bright or a little bit too dark like this. To avoid this, we need to control the expression to keep the exposure effect locked between two set values, meaning it won't get brighter than the brightest possible value or darker than the darkest possible value. And that's where our brightest and darkest value sliders will come in. I'll set the brightest value to one and the darkest value to minus one for now. Once we link this up to our exposure effect, the exposure won't be able to go above a value of one or below a value of minus one. From here, I'll just rewrite the expression. So first, I'm gonna determine our max value and link it up to the brightest value slider. Then I'll do the min value. And I'll link it up to the darkest value slider. I'll then just amend our wiggle expression here. So this first number represents the frequency of the wiggle and the second number represents the amplitude. So the frequency will determine the speed at which it flickers. So we will link that up to our flicker speed slider here and drop down a line. And for the amplitude, we'll use a math dot abs expression, which will have max value minus min value. And then we'll divide that by two and change our flicker speed to 10. And here's our working flicker. From here, you've got full control on the brightness and how much it flickers just by changing these numbers. So if we want to make it a more intense flicker, we can turn this down to minus five and this up to maybe three and maybe we'll turn this up to 50, which is quite a lot. So maybe we'll turn it back down to two and this will be a much slower flicker, but maybe we want a really subtle one. So we'll go for one and zero and we'll change this to a thousand. And that's a nice subtle one, but maybe change that to minus two and turn that up to two. So it's a little more obvious. But that's how you set it up and that's how you get full control of this flicker. My personal favorite settings are keeping it subtle. So I like minus one and one and 10. If all that is a little bit too complicated to set up every time or you prefer a one click fix to get this effect, then you can head over to the Natively or Nate store to get the more advanced version of the preset. That link is in the description. And just a little note for the ending, if you're wanting to set up your own RGB exposure, it's just the exact same technique, just change the channels from master to individual channels and you can set it up through them. I'd also remind you to use this effect sparingly as some people are quite sensitive to flashing lights. Adding more and more subtle effects like this one on top of each other can really take your design to the next level. So here's a video that will show you examples of just how to do that. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you over in the next video.